Dallas man may have to wait a little while to find out for sure whether he'll face his charges or not for the shooting and killing of another man in a parking lot last night, even though he says he acted in self-defense. CBS 11's Bud Gillette joining us live from the spot where the shots rang out last night. Bud? Well, an eyewitness here believes that this crime against this couple was planned, that the robber put his car into this handicapped spot just outside the Aldi grocery store you see there. But the crime ended in gunfire, a getaway attempt, a parking lot crash, and an unexpected death. I was shocked. I never seen nothing, you know. You always see it in movies, but not in person. You did a water has heard the first couple of shots. She tells me she turned in time to see 71 year old Ronnie Lamas firing at the man who had just robbed his wife of her necklace, knocked her down, and was trying to get away. It was like about six shots. I guess the last two, that's when it hit and he hit the other car that was parked. Yadira tried to help the robber but says he was already dead. She then turned to Mrs. Lamas. We we're like uh, trying to see if the lady was okay, but she was on the ground. She was still shaking. We were just trying to make sure like she was okay and just giving her water. Today, Ronnie Lummis declined to be interviewed, other than to tell me his wife is fine. Lummis is a licensed concealed handgun owner. Police call the incident self-defense. It was not just a robbery, it was aggravated robbery. Tom Manowitz runs a CHL school and the Target Master gun store and firing range. He explains that state law sometimes allows for shooting a fleeing suspect, for instance, if that suspect has injured an elderly person over age 65. Self-defense and the defense of a third person um, all he has to do is believe that he was, he or the other person was in mortal danger and under any conditions he's allowed to use deadly force. And there are times when actively stealing some property makes it okay to shoot. There is a, a statement that if property is being stolen that could not be recovered by any other means other than use of deadly force, then that is, you know, legal. Back live in Northwest Dallas, the robbery suspect has still not been identified pending notification of relatives. Police tell us only that he is a 36-year-old Latin male. Now, though police are not filing charges in connection with this case, it will be referred routinely to the Dallas County Grand Jury, as all such cases, shooting death cases, are. Live in Northwest Dallas, Bud Gillette, CBS 11 News.